The odd ones out is a furry. 100% confirmed, we now have all the info we need to come to this conclusion. And he's essentially accepted it now. And we have got all of the proof. There's been so many new instances of him being a furry and even wearing his fursuit. And again, we'll cover all of that stuff that's been known for a while. But there's been a bunch of other new stuff as well. And I spent like way too much time researching this and gathering the info to prove once and for all that he is in fact a furry. And again, he's essentially like accepted it now. So we're gonna be covering all of that today. Especially towards the end, there's some pretty cool info. And actually, before we even get into that, I've got a super cool announcement. I started a furry clothing company. Like this design right here is one of our brand new crew necks, the Fluffy Cloud Crew Neck, to be specific. If I can pull up the fur right here, you can see that it's got this super cute design I made, printed in a like three-dimensional puff print. And it also says fluffy on the sleeve. It's comfortable. I made sure it was like the highest possible quality I could. And I already sold a bunch of them on like Instagram and stuff. So I've only got a little bit left. So if you guys want to get your hands on them, they'll be at my new shop, zerofoxshop.com. Link below in the description. Again, they're super high quality and the people that have already ordered them have been super happy, which makes me happy. But yeah, let's get into the stuff to do with this animator, dude. Okay, so here we are at the computer ready to take a look at all of this research top tier research and in fact one of the things that got me to most want to talk about this recently was the fact that if you go to the odd ones out twitter right back here he literally put out a poll that says would you rather be a furry or a genshin impact fan and i love that furry actually won at 55 percent i mean that's proof right there furries are stronger than weebs what can i say but obviously that is just the tip of the iceberg not even that it's a fraction a snowflake on the top of the iceberg and i think one of the most important things to talk about before we get into the like super crazy clues about this is a video that the odd ones out put out on his main page called conventions which if you look at the thumbnail that's his character wearing a furry suit which as you probably may know already is actually called chip he's got a specific furry character and chip is the name keep that in mind it's very important and again this is still just the basic info but at the middle of this video somewhere what are the chances it's right here like the most replayed part it's no, good. no, it's not that. Wait, no, I think I found it. Not to, you know, jump to conclusions here, but I think that might be a furry convention. Not sure, though. But again, basically what he says about this, if you go back to around this part... Until I went to a convention last December called MFF. Right Chance here. MFF, which he says, uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this stands for Macaroni Fun Fair, but it was in fact Midwest Fur Fest. Now again, this video was a couple of years ago, a few years ago. Let's see, yep, two years ago. So honestly, still fairly recent. But he goes on to say this, which I think is pretty Midwest. funny. James, did you go to a furry convention? Mm -hmm. I went with some I went friends. With some friends. Okay, okay, yeah, sure, so sure, actually, okay. Although I still got recognized, even though I was. I love how he says he still got recognized despite wearing a disguise. That's actually super important because check out the disguise he was actually wearing. Let me just go on to Google here for a quick second. Um, yeah, that was his disguise. A fursuit. I don't know, buddy. <laughs> I don't know. So something that's really funny about this is that he got it commissioned from a fairly popular maker, the Phoenix Nest, and they did an awesome job of it, but it's of his character Chip, who literally shows up in so many of his videos when he needs a furry type character. So I do find it oddly suspicious that he got a fursuit as a disguise. Now to be fair, he did mention, I believe somewhere else that he was going with his girlfriend and she wanted him to go and then he got the suit. So again, at this point in history, it wasn't 100% sure. It was still up in the air. But that just leads me to some of the other very, how would you put it? More furry stuff. <laughs> And not many people talk about it, but there's a subreddit called Furry IRL, which you've probably seen if you've watched any of uh, our fellow furry YouTubers' meme react videos. They've definitely gone to this subreddit and reacted to the memes on it. However, guess who also went to this subreddit at one time? That's right, John Cena. Are you sure about that? Now, obviously the odd one's out. <laughs> However, and this kind of makes it an interesting point, he later deleted most of, if not all of his comments and posts that he made to this subreddit. Some of them can still sort of be found out there if we look like on images and stuff. Like for example, this one right here shows his original post. You can see that his user, which is in fact him, like it's confirmed that it's him. Here, in case you doubt me, this is his profile. The odd one's out and he's literally a moderator of these communities, the odd ones out subreddit. It's 100% him. And if you don't trust that, trust me, okay? I'm trustworthy. I'm a, I'm a good, I'm a good, I'm a good wolf. 
cat, you know? But yeah, this post has since been deleted, but he put up this specific art as a meme on the page, basically just saying hi to all of the furries that browsed along that page. Not only that, I do remember him commenting a lot during this time, but he later did delete a bunch of his comments. If we take a look at this post right here, why did James delete the posts he put on furry IRL? He actually left an explanation for this. He says, and I'm trying to read this in fursuit. Oh gosh, bumped the mic. I really only went on furry IRL to see the memes about me because I love seeing memes about me. Very humble, I like it. But then a poll was created and people were voting if the memes about me should be banned and about half the people voted that yes, they should. I was also already on the fence about interacting with free IRL as much as I did because it can be an NSFW subreddit sometimes and I want to keep my family friendly brand. So getting voted off the island was enough of a push for me to pack up and leave. I'll miss the memes, but it's time to say goodbye my furry friend. So again, that kind of like, we had even more confirmation and then he took it away with backpedaling. He's got this like trend where he'll dive into some furry stuff and then backpedal and be like, oh no, I was just, you know, messing around. But we're on to you. Again, I've got even more info. I've got all the receipts here. If we go back over to YouTube again, recently he had done an interview with Anthony Padilla. Now for the most part, this is a pretty standard interview where he just asks, you know, usual questions that you'd expect him to ask of an animator that's also a big YouTuber. However, he does go on to ask him specifically about his interaction with the furry fandom and it asks him if he is in fact a furry. So let me uh, scrub through the 25 minutes here so I can find that specific part. Watch it be the most replayed part right here. Please tell me it is. They want you to date. They want you to be married. Wait, <laughs> no, it's they about Jaden animation. Dang together. it, that would have been really yeah, funny. Now. Okay, here we go. Another one of the fairly most replayed areas is the one where he talks about the furry community and his interaction with it. Are you actually a furry? At this point, it's just easier. There's the question. We found it. Are you actually a furry? <laughs> but listen to what he says about this. It's complicated, right? A story about how I got so, yep, let me tell you the story about how he got his fursuit that we talked about earlier. And I like made a bunch of furry jokes in that video. I got like a shoe mm -hmm. with it. Mm -hmm. That's how Chip got created. For VidCon, I was like, I want to bring a disguise. Quote unquote disguise. Okay on a disguise, bro? You're not fooling anybody. You're not fooling anyone. But also listen to what he says here specifically. Then I start dating one. So his girlfriend is literally a furry. <laughs> and I believe they're still dating, correct? This was posted a year ago, but I'm pretty sure they still are. And obviously that MFF was even years before that. Have I you hear. been to a furry convention? Yeah, I went to a furry convention. <laughs> yep, that's when he went to did MFF. Anyone, did anyone recognize you? Yes! <laughs> I still wonder how everybody actually recognized him at that time, but he still hasn't admitted that he's actually a furry. So again, Anthony Padilla asked specifically, are you going to admit it? And he says this. No, I don't want that. No, I don't want that too much. I don't want to go, I'm James and I'm a furry. So he still doesn't like 100% confirm it right there. It does give us some interesting clues about his view about the furry community, but again, still that same like super close to the line and then backpedaling. We need to look even further because we haven't even gotten to the narrative in the coffin proof I have about this that only just recently came out and trust me it's it's pretty great. But you know what? While we're still on YouTube, I do want to point out the fact as well that if you go over to his page and then go to the channels section, also Chip is literally on the banner. But again, you go to his channels and it shows his subscriptions, which I scrolled through this earlier and it's, it's so long. Why? There's like hundreds and hundreds. It goes on and on and on and on. But we're looking for one specific <laughs> subscription and you think you reached the bottom. Wait, did we actually reach the bottom? No. I swear it was more than that earlier. He definitely changed it. But let's see here if we search through. Again, can't see much through the first you had. There it is. He subscribed to Majira Strawberry. Why would a non-furry be subscribed to Majira Strawberry if they weren't at least interested in furry content, you know? Although the odd one's out. I'm still waiting for a subscription from you, so, you know, do a guy a favor. I'll send you one of these crewnecks. It's cute. I'm literally bribing him. So then there's that. But if we then go to Twitter, you know, again, he's posted a ton of different stuff about furries on his Twitter account. Like, I think way back around that conventions video, he said, should I make a video about the time I went to a furry convention and 89% said yes. So that was pretty funny in and of itself. Video idea, the odd ones out, goes to a furry convention. Good idea, great idea. I think he already had plans to go at this point. It's gotta be. But then he goes on to also say this, if I buy your furry adoptable, I'm legally allowed to put them in my Netflix show. 
The fact he even would, you know, think of buying a furry adopt, buying a furry adopt. Oh my gosh, I can't say adoptable, adoptable, adoptable. That's what they're called now. I officially made it a thing. He mentions fur affinity in this tweet, something that essentially only furries know about. And then I know that this tweet from all the way back in 2019 is definitely one of the biggest things. Our replies to Adler the Eagle, who they've worked together a bunch of times, and Adler is 100% a furry. He says this community ain't big enough for two furries, which essentially was the biggest confirmation back then because he's saying that well obviously he's a furry but that's not the biggest piece of info check this out right here this popped up on my twitter feed fairly recently it's a picture of the odd ones out literally at a fur meet yeah not a convention literally just a fur meet on a weekend which is 1000 percent something only furries would go to i think this is admittedly maybe a bigger fur meet but again just him being there to me is confirmation now i also tried asking a couple of people that went to this and they didn't have much info unfortunately <laughs> nobody just straight up asked him like you know what his thoughts are on the furry fandom and like why was he at the meet in the first place that's the type of info i would have really liked to know so maybe we can make a follow-up video or something like that or maybe we can interview the odd ones out that would be incredible that'd be really dope but i think this is finally it i think this is confirmation he's wearing the fursuit still which we haven't seen since the original convention and going to small fur meets dude's a furry 100 percent confirmed it right here. I think we've finally done it. So yeah, that's it for my insane research onto this very specific niche topic. But again, it was fun to do. So if you're new to this channel, subscribe for more of these fun types of videos. And also be sure to watch a bunch of my other ones that are on the channel right now. But either way, I hope to see you all next time. Bye.